Ace Money the name, getting paid by the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BNE with handicappers. So it's the SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. We got our NBA today. Uh, October 29th, we got four games on the slate. First start, Mavericks at Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, it's a, a repeat of uh, Western Conference Finals last year. Uh, team, teams are a couple trades, a little different, but uh, it should be a good game. Uh, lines opened up at plus four. Uh, total is 225, and uh, Mavericks has the underdog. Uh, basically stay the same, plus five, plus four and a half. Uh, total did go down a little bit to 20 and a half. And uh, Mavericks still on the dog, plus 170. And we got Nuggets. Uh, Timberwolves are on a back-to-back. No, Mavs are. Yeah, Timberwolves are on a back-to-back. A lot of teams on back-to-back tonight. Uh, Nuggets and Nets. Nuggets on the back-to-back. Uh I don't think the Nets played yesterday. Uh, minus seven and a half opened up at uh, Nuggets as the favorite total two eighteen and a half and uh, minus three ten plus two fifty uh, line did go down minus five four and a half uh, best odds total stayed the same and the odds uh, did go down minus two ten well I guess it went up minus two ten and then uh. Plus 170, the favorite went down. We got Kings going to play the Jazz. Both on a back-to-back. Uh, minus four and a half. Kings is the favorite. Total opened up at 235 and a half. And uh, plus 164 for the Jazz. That, uh, that line jumped up. Minus seven for the Kings. Uh... Total went down a little bit, 234.5, and uh, odds jumped up. Mine is 250 and uh, plus 240. And then we got Golden State. Uh, we got Pelicans going into into the Warriors, uh, plus 2.5. Uh, Pelicans is down the dog, total 220.5, and... and uh, Pelicans opened up as the underdog, plus 122. Now, Curry got hurt yesterday, a little ankle sprain. Be out for a couple days, so it uh, flip-flopped. Reverse dog, minus one and a half for the Pelicans now. Uh, total went down, 216 and a half. And uh, minus 125, plus 115. So, yeah, uh, a lot of teams on back-to-backs. Uh See what happens it's early in the season, but uh, some of these teams are on three games and four nights, so we'll see. And, and someone's overtime, but uh, I got some player props to get into that. All right, so first up, uh, Denver at Brooklyn. Denver is on that back to back overtime. Uh, I think they're on three games and four nights. Uh, Relate into this play as well. Uh, rebounds, Cam Thomas over three and a half. Uh, 135, DraftKings. Lines, uh, odds changed a little bit. I had it on FanDuel for a little more. Uh, 100% for this year, five, six, and five. Um, Denver's decent, good team at rebound. And overall, ranked seventh is shooting guard, saying ranked second. I played this yesterday as well, uh, two days ago. Did I play yesterday? No, two days ago. Uh, he cashed it. He got five. Um, I just think with them being in so many games, it's going to give them a little more effort. Uh, their legs might be a little tired. Uh, not give them more effort, but give them more of a chance to uh, – to get the rebounds rather than the other team, as well as their legs being a little tired, leave some shots short. Uh, 
as well as he's been balling. Uh, I take his points. He's been doing real good. Uh, see what happens playing on that home that home court. I think he should be able to go over a three and a half. It's just too low. I'm not saying he's going to get many more, but he'd probably end with five. At least four, right? Okay, so let's get it. Cam Thomas rebounds over three and a half. He's exceeded three and a half in uh, seven of his last nine games. Uh, Clay Thompson. This is uh, Dallas at Minnesota. Uh, one of the rebounds. Played this before already, too. Uh, over two and a half. Minus 142. FanDuel, uh, as you see. 155 on DraftKings, 145 on DraftKings. Sometimes it'll say uh, two and a half or three plus, but uh, definitely look around. Um, clear this every time. Uh, not by much. You know, sometimes he just goes a little bit over it. Uh, he's getting a decent amount of minutes. He's exceeded two and a half in uh, four of his last five games on the road. Minnesota overall ranked fourth rebounds, but to the shooting guard, they are ranked 22nd. Uh, you know, he's got a good fit going in there. He looks a little uh, rejuvenated. Um, he's cleared this in the last five games, last 10, 90%. Uh, last 20, 75, head to head, 67%, but that's, he was on the other team. And the one time he didn't clear it, he, uh, he didn't play. Played a minute and a half. But uh, he was on Golden State then. Uh, you know, he hangs out on that win, spot up shooter. Sometimes he'll bring the ball up, but not really. Uh, you know, and just close in on them, uh, them rebounds, especially with, uh, with Luca putting up 13 threes a game and everything. Uh, he just got the opportunity. And uh, two and a half, I'm going to play it all day until he proves me wrong. Let's get it. Clay Thompson. Game, uh, I went with Gafford. Rebounds over five and a half. Line opened up at six and a half. It did go down a little bit. Uh, played at Fandle, minus 114. Now, uh, uh Mavs are coming, uh, Minnesota, no, Mavs are coming off a back-to-back. So, uh, you know, Minnesota's well-rested. Uh, I say that to say this because uh, he's been averaging four offensive rebounds a game, which is good. Could be his own missed shots for all I know. But, uh just think that leads in to give him a little more opportunity. They might be shooting a little rougher and uh, just give him more chance to get the boards. Uh, he's playing around 20 minutes, you know, splitting the floor lively. Uh, I juggled between this game. I was going to pick lively for for some stuff, but I missed the line. Uh, like his points and rebounds, or even just his points, or even Gafford's points. You know, uh, season's still young. I'm trying to figure it out. I just figure rebounds would be the easiest thing. Um, he's cleared this all three games. Uh, last five, 60%. Last 10, 60%. Head to head, it's not as clear because it was, uh, you know, the playoffs. So they played him five times in a row. But, uh, yeah, so we'll see. We'll get it. Daniel Gafford, five and a half. Let's get it. Kevin Shooter. I mean, Huda. Uh, I didn't do three pointers. Sorry. I did points uh, uh, long chains. I got it at eight and a half. Uh, feel comfortable with that nine and a half. Just keep an eye on it. Uh, last game, he had 18. They're, they're coming off a back-to-back as well. Uh, playing Utah Jazz. Jazz overall. Ranked 28th in points allowed. Shooting guard, ranked 23rd. 
Uh, it's clear there's two out of the three games so far. His minutes are going up, so you know he's earning some more time on the court. Uh, he's shooting a good percentage, too. Uh, from the field, 56%, averaging about nine attempts, making five. Three pointers, seven attempts, fifty-seven uh, percent. So he's looking real good. Um, yeah, the insights. Let me see. Let me see. Head to head. So last year, obviously, he cleared it one time. Three, six, nine. Yeah, eight and a half is a sweet spot, but uh, what you could do too is, for any play for that matter, once a game starts, you can check it. As soon as the game starts, say the guy misses a shot or something, the lines will go down, even the rebounds and everything else. So, uh, yeah, a lot of betting is cool. It's the key. But, uh, yeah, let's get it. Kevin Huda. Uh, it should be right. They got his threes one and a half at, like, highly juiced, uh, like, like 188 or something. So, he's going to hit a couple. I'm not worried. Let's get it. Ten o'clock. Pelicans going into Golden State. Minus Steph Curry. Uh, rebounds over five and a half. Uh, Brandon Ingram. Uh, playing real well. You got Zion playing. They got that team together. Uh, Fandle 135. Various books, different numbers. DraftKings 150, Caesars 170. Uh, even Fandle 150, 148, 135. So, always got to pay attention to that stuff. Especially if you're betting every day like we do. Um, let's play this all three games. 7, 8, 8. I was going to play yesterday and then I got upset that I didn't, <laughs> but uh, that happens, right? Uh, Golden State, what are they, ranked 12th, rebounds allowed. Small forward, ranked 13th. But, uh, Ingram's tall, lanky. Uh, he's out there grabbing boards. Playing 31 minutes. Staying out of foul trouble, getting normal fouls, you know. Uh, a couple offensive, so that's always good. Rebound chances. It's kind of like the rule of thumb. You, you kind of want to cut it in half. So it's at 13, so we should be going over it. Head-to-head, uh, -head, what do we got? What do we got? Five. Played 22 minutes, though. Four and one. What do you do? He foul. Four fouls. He's playing almost ten more minutes. So he played a shorter game that time. But uh, yeah, it should be easy money. Let's get it, Brandon Ingram. Um, I do have another play. I sprinkled on. Jump right into it. Uh, CJ McCullen steals over one and a half. Now, if you could find blocks plus steals at one and a half, take that. Uh, last two games, he's had four. I mean, it was both of us versus Portland. But uh, he's been playing good D. Uh, he's exceeded one and a half steals in six of his last seven games on the road, averaging 2.3. Uh, odds are one and a half, uh, odds, uh, plus 180, so, uh, I did a half unit, but my unit size is only $35, so it's like 18 bucks, so, uh, plus money plays, I always bet less anyway, but, uh, because they're hard to hit, uh, Curry being out, uh, just, that Golden State's got a lot of turnovers as it is anyway, and, uh, I just feel like he can get two loose balls. He's been doing real well with it, so. It's the last 10 games, obviously going back to last year. But, yeah, I'll give it a shot. A little, little sprinkle. Let's get it. CJ McCollin, take that, take that. You, 
if you could hit that like button uh, new viewers subscribe and let's turn on the notifications so you get all my plays my live bets anything i do i try to be as transparent as possible uh, keep you in the loop uh, i drop things in the community all the time and uh if you got a little extra time if you could leave a comment likes and comments help get the videos out there uh, as well as i like the interaction the feedback uh, i don't get paid for doing this uh, trying to get the subs up there i've been doing it in a couple months uh, so the comments and the communication makes it feel worth it. Um, started tracking bets a little over a month ago. 61% hit rate. Uh, yesterday, down $19. You know, an L's an L though, right? But I'd rather be down 19 than worse than that. But uh, keeping in consideration, up until week six of NFL, my unit size was $25. And... Uh, and then I raise it up to 35 now. So uh, it's not like I'm betting $100 a play. So $1,100, decent amount of units. But uh, yeah, I appreciate everyone. Let's get it. East Money the name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.